Hello my friends, the coach of is here and welcome to my channel. I have made update of my Laravel e-commerce course. I recorded about 60 new videos, about 10 hours new content, and in this video I'm going to give you an overview of what is included in this Laravel e-commerce course update. Besides the new content, there are a few additional benefits inside this course. I found that the comment section of this course is not very convenient to share the code and just help the students. That's why I decided to introduce a private Discord group. In this group, we're going to have a dedicated channel where you can post your problems, and it's going to be much easier for me to help through this Discord server. And there might be other experienced developers who had the same problems, and you can easily find the existing problems or the other experienced de developers might be easily able to help you. Additionally, now there are subtitles available on every single video in two languages, English and Spanish. Please also keep in mind that the translations are auto-generated and it might not be 100% accurate in all the cases. However, what I watched so far and read these uh, subtitles, uh, 90-95% cases, the translations in English language is very accurate. I tried to listen to your feedback and I received a feedback that they wanted to download the videos because they lived in a low network, not very fast network area. They wanted to download all these videos when they just get in the fast network area and they wanted to watch this offline. So I also made all the videos available to be downloaded for offline usage. Till the end of the November, there will be discount on this course and it will cost $9.95. If you are already a member of this course, you will get this update for free. And as always, if you will not be happy with the course content, you can email me and I will provide you a full refund within the 30 days period after you purchase the course. Now, let's have an overview of what new content is included in this course. We changed the model of the product edit into a dedicated new product page. When you click the button, now it has its own URL. Also, when you go back and when you edit specific product, it has a dedicated page. We also added rich text editor. This is a CK editor for nicely formatting the descriptions of the products. We added the quantity field right here and on the front end side also we added quantity management. When you try to add a product into the cart and if the product is simply out of stock, you will get a red message that the product is out of stock and you will not be able to add that product into the cart. Additionally, we also added support to upload multiple images on the products. And you can not only upload images, but you can reorder those images. If you decide that the third image should be on the first position, you can easily do that as well. Additionally, we have introduced categories in this project. Now, you can set up the category, define the category name, and select what's going to be the parent category of the category, and have that category tree. And when you create new product, you can choose which categories you want to assign to a specific product. This gives you a possibility to have multiple categories on a single product and submit that and save that product. On the website side, we output those categories just below at the top, at the below of the header, and we're going to see all the parent, the root categories, we're going to see the subcategories, and sometimes we even have the um, sub-subcategories. And we have possibility to filter by specific category on the website. Additionally, we added searching for products by title and by description. We also introduced ordering by um, price or title or last modified date of the product. These are the biggest things that has been made in this update, but there are many, many, many tiny things that has been improved fixed or updated in this course. We updated Laravel to its latest version. We also uh, installed the Laravel debug bar and debugged the queries on the website. We optimized the number of database queries made on different pages of the website. We also installed uh, the Laravel telescope 
and debug the API queries. So you're going to see this whole process and you're going to learn how to install debug bar or telescope and how you can debug the database queries and how you can improve and optimize that. We have also improved the error handling part inside the website in many cases. Uh, and I also answered to some of the most common questions I got in the comment section, such as when sometimes the Stripe was throwing an error when you try to uh, make a checkout process and so on. Again, the total number of videos, there are about 60 new videos. So I recommend to just scroll to new content and you can easily find what is added in this update. I'm looking forward to see you in the course and in the private Discord group.